Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between Weibo Gaming and T1 during the World's 2023 Grand Final. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. And they can continue this pressure on. You can look towards mid now. Oh. And show is in trouble. Yeah, owner immediately moves over. There's the flex. The Q is going to land from owner, but he decides to not go in under the inner turret. And Xiaohu looks to try and fire. Really well pre-planned play here from T1. And I'm going to be looking towards how are the junglers able to punish the oh, lack of flashes. Flash. W is fake against the charm. He stops it to the skies, but I don't think it's going to be enough because his flash is already down. And first blood goes to Xiaohu. And I haven't even finished. Drake pit first one going to be a Chemtech Drake. And Ona is going to very happily join Carrier as they look to take this one down. So at about six minutes into the game, we will have our very first dragon. Faker coming on over, not going to be able to steal anything away. Just getting some information here for T1. They will be able to secure this dragon. So that is one of the steps that they have taken here. Still, they're going to happen in a 5v5. Says has been simply incredible throughout the World Championship. Certainly has. And now Faker is going to dash in, finds the charm under the top catch. Faker has to get out of there, though. Can't be a snare for the hostile takeover. Gets so much work done. The devour's in, but the kill's there. For Ona, Xiaohu now going down low as Faker dashes forward once again. But it looks like they'll have to settle for one and a Herald. And Weibo, they see that T1 is at the Herald. They rotate over. They just walk up. T1 finds the angle and Weibo give up the Herald and a kill. Exactly, and maybe going to lose some farm down on bot side as well, because Chris has no TV, but Zayas. Nature's Grass comes in, he gets pulled back, he's interrupted from the ultimate. Zayas does get a knock up there and a shield, but I think he's still dead. And there it is, the answering kill from the Shy. Weibo looking around for the cash. They will be able to gather it here. All the deception going to go wide, and it looks like Faker's not going to stick around for another plate. As Weiwei going for a reset, they're going to give up the second Drake as well. Yeah, I think there's just no real angle for them to contest from this point. Owner drops the Herald mid, they get Pryo there, they re-establish Pryo down on that bot side, move up through the river. And with Kiri and Guma, it's such a strong... Immediately, oh, Azalea, you'll love to see it. Uh, owner is here, though. It's going to be a 2v2. Zayas taking a bit of damage as the Q comes down. There's the ulti. Nature's Grasp, but look at the knockups. The kickback. Weiwei punches him out of oh! it. Oh! The Shadow Blight through to help get the kill onto Zayas. It looked good for T1, and Weibo struck back. And Lion Guy might be getting ganked. Yeah, Kerry is going to move on up here as Zayas is going to break those chains. Kerry is looking for that handshake angle as already. The Shy has done a fair bit of damage, but I don't think it is going to be enough as it's Alco gaming for the Shy, and he will go down. Owner grabs that kill. Owner side wasn't really expected, I think, to be up there. The Shy thought he was going to be safe, but now dying there with no TP does mean there's going to be a pretty big push. You can see Guma. Of course, yeah. you have to carry, compare that with Crisp's goal. Oh, brings him back in with a twisted advance. The kickback as well as Weiwei gets out the punch. And now Shahu coming on in. Owner's going to burn down and no bailout for you. Light's in a bit of trouble, but the jump is not going to get it done because Crisp is there with the, den the denial with the devourer. And T1 have to run away. What a play from Weibo. And continuously, they are <laughs> getting out skirmished. Weiwei should be able to get the execute here. So nothing given up. And Weibo woke away victorious. Well played on the sidestep nonetheless. T1, though, continually going towards these objectives. They know they need to keep pushing the pace. And Weibo here looking to challenge. And nice shock blast is going to soften up T1 just a little bit here. Four versus three in this moment, but Faker's wrapping around from the top side of the fight. The Shy pretty far away from this one. And Zayas is moving in, gets over the wall. There's the ult. It's going to be dodged as he gets himself out of there with the unbound soul. And T1, they are going to be pushing that out. So forcing the response from the Shy. T1 are happy in this stalemate position right now. They still have the Herald to work with. So if Weibo overcommit towards the Dragon, they can just drop Herald mid and guarantee that tier one. Oh. Carry is going to miss the handshake, but the Q's going to land from Ona. Weiwei could avoid it with a twisted advance. Ona not going to go in as the Everfrost, it gets the Devour. Gumiyushi getting himself out of there and utilizing his ultimate to save Carrier as well. But that is so many... Alternative play, just push mid. But it looks like Weibo isn't even going to give him the opportunity. It's Oh, there's the kick flash. Shaohu's going to be pushed into Faker. The flash forward, but the charm is going to miss. What? The Pierce doesn't land it. Shaohu just walks it off. No worries there at all as Crisp is under the turret. They throw down Harold. But Zayas has found two with the ultimate life. Goes down so low, but isn't going to survive. Weiwei trying to get himself out of there, and the Shy is given up. But they at least get the dragon. Weibo get the dragon, but T1 get the kill. Shahu lucky to get out of that one. But Weiwei, he's going home in the box. 
Could be in a bit run. of trouble here as Chris looks for it. The immediate cleanse does get out of the way. Nature's Cross isn't going to connect, but there is a twist in advance. Hostile takeover across everyone, though, but the Shy is just gigantic. Goomba trying to hop away. The Fates call the knockups. And meanwhile, Wei Wei is going down. Baker collects it before falling down. Chris has to go, though, because he's so incredibly low. And Sayers is tearing them to shreds. Weibo lying on the floor now as T1 looked to tidy up Chris. And they won that team fight even better than the loss. Guma refuses to go down. Karius saves him. Coming in with the hustle takeover in T1. They're on the Baron. And it's Renata that does it again. Karius standing at the ready. Keeps Guma alive throughout all of it. And T1, the goal before this was even Wavo picked up the dragon. But after this fight, multiple go uh, kills going over the T1. Baron secured. And it looks like the first grade might have been broken up. The early game comp getting it done. And here is the replay. We'll see how it all started. It looked like a pick on Gumiyushi. It did, but it just took them so long to actually get to him. You can see everyone from T1 is coming as fast as they possibly can. And all the time that was bought here by Guma allows them to arrive, allows the hostile takeover here, hitting across multiple members. Light is forced to even flash out, just trying to avoid it. But Owner knocks him down. Guma dances out, using that ultimate with Karia's help to peel him off. And we're seeing one of the big issues with the Senna is that if you're playing a front to back, Senna feels almost impossible to deal with. Particularly with Kench, it's really hard to take people down to get through the... Take a tier one top, but Faker's looking for an engaged bot. Yeah, looking for even more. Everfrost is going to land. Somehow that charm didn't connect, but it is still going to gather a devour from over the wall from Crisp. T1 will settle for this inner turret. And this is where the earlier Drake from Weibo is going to feel like a miracle in the sky. Right? If they didn't have that, would be just a soul point T1. Now, sure, uh, they're not going to have the soul. You still have five minutes of time. It's not looking great, but at the very least, they'll have one more opportunity to try and get something going. My main issue is, particularly with Zayus now, completely isn't sticking. I mean, it feels like it's just basically all up to Xiaohu from this position. He needs to be able to hit Shock Blast on key members that can't heal them up, oh. which is basically just Baker. Yeah, Owner going aggressive. There's the kick flash once again. Weiwei's going to flash to his advance to get himself back. There's the Nature's Grasp as well as Owner's going to have to get out of there. Safeguard is enough of a shield. The Dawning Shadow not quite there with the damage. And T1, they tried some. This comes in eventually, but that is going to put enough oh fear into Weibo. And uh, Zayus, yeah, like three his hitting damage. this Cloud Drake. Yeah. I mean, he is just going to kill that thing so fast. They're going to start Baron at the same time. They're just going to start it up. I think at this point, T1 feels that they can do everything at once. And Weibo, you've got to make a stand now. There's just no way from this position you can give up a free Baron. Well, Weiwei is in the vicinity, but the rest of the team is still making their way over. The Shy does have teleport, but they have no information. They have no vision. This Baron is gone. This can't walk up. There's not really Bigger anything TPing. to do. Yeah, looking exactly behind Xiaohu, but he's pretty fast as Xiaohu's going to avoid the charm for now. Shock Blast connects onto Faker there as well. He's still going to look for that reset angle, and now with the Baron buff in tow, T1 feel like they don't need a reset to try and break open the base of Weibo here in game one of the finals. Nature's Grasp flying forward. Ona still has that GA, oh. remember? Chris going down so incredibly. Loseus just executes the Chai up to the side, and there is another one. This guy's Yone is just absurd. And the inhibitor is going to go down. Weiwei is burning there as well. As now Xiaohu tries to be the hero, but it does not work out. And I think T1 are just going to end game one here. And the early game, T1 not able to get a bunch of crucial kills, but they don't let it face them. They are able to find the one skirmish they're looking for, take the Baron, and from that point on, Weibo doesn't get... ...and Aatrox, and really kind of has earlier and more powerful power spikes, because this Gwen is going to need a couple items before you really start to outshine what the Aatrox can do. That being said, if they can get to that point, T1 has an incredible 1-3-1. One, one. They really can attack those side lanes. Watch out who is going to be able to get done on this version of the Ari, and I have to have a feel that uh, the Ari... AD variety should be better in lane uh, against Faker as well. Don't really need to land as many spells if you just right-click people. I like that idea. But Weibo going to be able to grab themselves the first Drake. Should mean the scuttle here as well from Weiwei. is getting double duty done. They are going to be able to grab this off the back of their very, very, very supreme control of this bottom lane. Yeah, this all goes back that can enable you. As I say, that owner is in top. Yeah, Zayas dashing forward. The needlework is out. Snip, snip. Going to connect, but doesn't do too much. And in goes Ona. The flash oh! out oh, was incredible from the Shy. Ona gets taken down to, oh my goodness, about one health.
but will be able to walk away. But I don't think he's going to be excited about ganking the shy anytime soon. Although Zayas is just going to go. That is just not fair. That is the shy. Right? You could just stay at your tower and farm it up. He didn't want to lose the wave, but he's the one who goes aggressive. Now he's going to get zoned off the bot wave. So T1 Whoa. punishing so heavily here. Yeah, the flash forward from Carrier finds the handshake this time. The Infernal Chains come in. He's lit on fire. He's feared, and Kumayushi cashes in. It's the Shy getting way down in this game now as Weibo have their bot lane up top. Zayus will not be an easy dive here. He is healthy and he's got the ultimate back. They're going to look for it, though. Yeah, we'll see what he can get done here. The Flash Twisted Advance comes in. And now Zayus just trying to do what he can to stay alive. It's working! And he's going to be able to dash back towards the minions. Now Faker turns up. He's got his own nature's grasp. But Shahu is going to join this one. And Zayus is running the wrong direction. We'll see how much time he's going to be able to buy here. Because maybe this is an execute as he heads toward the turret. And there it is! Oh! Oh my god, everything is becomes that much harder when you don't have the extra electrocute damage, when you don't have that early mythic completion. But it is going to be Weibo taking the second dragon here. We know it's not going to be a Chemtech oh. Soul, so it should be a good one. Yeah, and it's also going to be a teleport in T1. Not wanting to give this one up as Faker turns up. Nature's Grasp going to guarantee the dragon to hostile takeover, chasing Weiwei, but just dissipates before it gets there. Once again, hey. it's going to be a Cloud Soul. Love to see it. I could imagine he is the guy. And this has been the story for this T1 roster. You know, they have been so close so many times. Four times they have lost in an international game five and not been able to claim that big title they've been chasing. But Zayas showing up so far. Yeah, another teleport to come in here as they do manage to secure this Rift Herald. We'll see where the Weibo can get themselves out of here. Light going to be hostile takeover, but he's the only one. And now Zayas looking for the target. Faker dives in though as well. He's going to collect the first with the help of Ona. The Shy goes down. The rest of Weibo will scatter, but they do get the objective and only lose one for now. And Weibo going to be happy. A really tough one for them to fight. And Zayas is going to be able to knock down this turret on the bot side get even more gold in their pockets prior to it. Snip, 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 and oh down goes the turret. That is the first one of the Ooh. game. Completely unanswerable. He is so far ahead in the majority of metrics right now as the Rift Herald is going to park itself in the mid lane. Immediately that turret bot lane should be answered, and there goes the charge. So T1 are going to lose uh, the no lady one. with the and scissors. It's, it's also Zayus getting a turret, the nice first turret, which is would be some much-needed gold for Weibo. Now they're going to try and contest the Drake with very little vision. Well, Zayas on a flank they angle here as well. Crisp going to be spotted, but he does put that ward down. That is going to get there. The Drake going down very, very low, and now the paranoia comes in. Faker looks for the Spirit Rush, and he does find it. The hostile takeover is massive, and they get rid of Light immediately. Weiwei taken down for the double kill for Ona. Xiaohu now trying to get some damage in the back, and it does take down the Nocturne, but it's Crisp fighting on the bottom side of the map, and Kumiuchi is going to cash in once again, and T1 wipe the fight. They outfight. They get all the kills. It is seven to one. They're gonna take the dragon. The only thing that was working for Weibo in this game. And it's again, I think, that sense of desperation. They don't have a great vision set up. They don't know from which an owner has his ultimate available. And there are a couple of key ultimates that aren't there, right? You don't have the Maokai ult, that, or uh, rather the uh, uh, Senna ult. And that's such a big defensive cooldown. And again, look how they orchestrate this. Faker comes in from the top. Owner turns off the light. The hostile takeover comes across everything all at once. And it's so difficult for Weibo to be able to effectively communicate how to play out this team fight. So everyone scatters. They're all flashing every man for themselves. And when you go into that kind of fight against T1 with this composition, you are sure to always lose. An early game started. He has been cashing in, and Weibo trying yeah. to start something here. Here's another one. The Nature's Grasp. They all line up behind, but it's a decent charm to come through their hostile takeover for some phenomenal disengage. And it looks like T1, they don't want to deal with it. Faker dashes over the wall. Remember, they don't have a turret here. The charm is going to split them. Carrier tries to get another oh. one. He goes forward and then just explodes. And then Ona thinks that that's his moment. It's a double again for this Nocturne, and he survives. The logistics protocol coming in. From Carrier to make and close to checkmate in game number two. It's really hard as well, considering the fact that T1 had already built themselves a 1 3 1 composition. There is no comp in the game that is more, no, nothing too much more going to happen. T1 with the opportunity to stack four Cloud Drakes. We need to start with the second.
exactly. When you talk about the, the comfort and the ability to go towards things like the Lee Sin, I think that has been somewhat indicative of what T1 have wanted to do here at Worlds and the meta shifts that they have brought in as owner, maybe looking for a fight. Draven, being able to see these iconic picks and their comfort is working out so well. Oh, Paranoia comes in once again as the flash out from the Shy may not be enough. They're under the turret. Owner was tanking it up. And Zayas is going to finish it. Inner turret should now be next on the clock. And because the rest of T1 is standing guard, Weibo Khan reactively, the Weibo comp individually they can pick up very well, but if you don't get to the objective first, it becomes very hard to contest, and right now that's not the case. Yeah, they're definitely not there first. The Baron is down very, very low. There's the Paranoia as they look to try and burst down the Baron. They do collect it, and now the hijacked ultimate comes through from Baker. Now Zayas dives in. He's taken matters into his own hands. He hasn't taken any damage. Wait, wait, has to run away. He gets thrown back by the Bramble Smash, but the damage is already being done. Baker goes gold and does have to flash as Light's doing a fair bit of work with these Rens into the back line. But T1 just took a Baron, they got five out. And Gwen truly is immune. Sir, and three items. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep, Kamushi just having a good time, and he knows that he is not the main character necessarily. He's just been able to sit back. And it's because of the clutch! And, and this is the problem. Once you fall behind against a one fluent comp with a Nocturne, like, what do you do? If you try to collapse, Nocturne presses R, you don't know how many people are coming, you don't know how many people are responding, and T1, they're looking for more. Yep, Shahu already taking a bit of poke damage. Light will turn up. As four members are here, teleport event not available for the Shy, but they dive in, the turret goes down, the needlework just rips the center to shreds, and Zayas just by himself destroying everyone! Hostile takeover comes in, Light has the cleanse, but you can't cleanse death, it's a triple kill for Zayas, and they'll get to work on the inhibitor, it might just be the game right here. Zayas playing like his namesake, a god, this guy is going crazy in the finals! Just extraordinary assist, helps clear up this second Nexus turn, and T1 at match point already! ...the matchup extremely well. For the first six levels, at the very least, barring any major owner or carrier interference, you're not going to have the best of times. Same for bot lane, Ferris Bard, going to be really tough to deal with. So I do think that Weibo have a lot of prior... There can't be there to answer, so there is a potential angle to look for him, and he did just use his lightning rush, so I think he's in trouble. Yeah, there's the flash Q3 from Zayas. The Shy is in trouble. The lightning rush is on cooldown. He gets slowed down by the cripple, and the Q is going to land. Ona secures it, and that is first blood for T1. It's perfect timing from T1. We will see if Weiwei is able to maybe make a play towards bot side as owner making his way over to mid. Yeah, it's going to safeguard forward there as Faker dashes in and Xiaohu will survive. Faker just barely managing to walk away Whoa. as now they come in. Oh, the grand entrance, phenomenal from Kerry. We'll see whether he can survive though. Oh! He's to get the piercing arrow will do it. And Weibo Gaming even out the scoreline. Light knocks him down. That was a big kill for them on the bot side. To take it with Crisp here. Let's see whether they can get an angle. Three versus one. He does try and get out. There's the World Ender. He's trying to avoid all of this CC, and it's not going to work. There's the kill for Weiwei. Really good com uh, communication there for Weibo. They know that Zayas wants to try and get the wave in, so the Shy is setting me to, and likely most of, if not all of this wave, because he's totally zoned off until Chris arrives. So, yes, they do get a kill on top side, but T1... Zayas now back towards his top side with Ona in tow, wanting to get a little bit of revenge, and even though First Blood came in, the Shy still has a CS advantage. Lightning Rush to get him out of there as Ona just mini stun kick into the wall. That is going to be the execution, but the ultimate is going to be there from the Shy, and after the flash, he will survive, and now it's way wasted. Turn. Can he actually get this one as owner? About 50%. The safeguard to try and get out the oh. flash with the knockup. It's still there. And Crisp comes in for the kill. They get some knockups. Zayas will survive, but not the least. In meanwhile, on the bottom side of the map, the Blade Caller not quite there for Gumiyushi. Picture in picture, as you can see. And Faker looking for a little bit more. He connects the little bit more. He connects the backflip or the shuriken of the backflip. And uh, isn't going to be able to find too much more. So, Weibo should be able to get themselves this Rift Herald. Really important moment here, because with Delve, if you want to get those early Heralds, it's the Shy actually turning it around this time, staying alive for long enough for reinforcements to come in. Owner and Zayas don't actually get to 100 to 0. Potentially, that is because Guma and Keria are so hard to attack in a lot of these situations. Oh, Q going to connect there. Nice little knockup as Keria tries to find it. There's the quickness on to two. The kick gets the knockup on to Xiaohu. The Empress of Might only gets Ona, but that will get him out. But Weiwei's not going to be so lucky. The Shy got in here, and now he might be in trouble. He breaks.
breaks the chains, but is he still going to be able to get out? Kubayushi decides he wants to fight light towards the bottom side. That was the right call. Seas grabs the double kill. And Weibo able to make work, although teleport coming in. Yeah, teleport from this top side of the river. Xiaohu coming in, looking for the opportunity. Doesn't have the ultimate. They secure the drape, does T1. Grand entrance, not going to find the target there. On to Crisp as the tempered fake comes in. Faker trying to play bouncer to keep his team alive. And the ultimate doesn't really work out here from Crisp. Still, they don't lose too much, even though Xiaohu is on the other side of the map. And they're buying time for the fact that there is just a guy on the top side of the map taking plates. Yeah, they can't get anything. It's a great ulti from Crisp. Maybe can make that big play that can claw this series back for Weibo because T1 are coming and they're looking for a fight. Yep, they're seeing what they can do here as Faker moving into Fog of War. Potential teleport angle here is light. I don't think you're going to be able to He's get through off. that way, but still. Weibo with the shy on the flank angle. He has Flash available, and now the teleport comes in behind them. Faker wanting to find his angle in. They don't get the knockup. A little bit of mistiming there from Weiwei as the Rift Herald is going to reset. She heads back into the pit, and Weibo gonna have to start over. But still, Light could never actually move. Azeus on that flank angle, the Shy now here, and Gumiushi pretty safe now on that back line. Look at Karia though, it's so hard for Weibo to walk up because Karia is on that sideline, they know he's there. Yeah, he flashes in, he finds himself, the charm on the four is there, it is the ultimate from the Shy, but it just doesn't quite do enough. They try and get out, but Fika has the perfect execution and locks down his fellow ninja. Xiaohu now taking a whole lot of damage in Faker. He's in the shroud. He's toying with him. It's a double cost. What? Order! And back in again. It's a triple for Faker. Zayas is going to be out of block down the next one. Faker eventually goes down, but it's four for him and Carrier. And that is T1 turning the situation around. Their health bars are low. Not all of Weibo's cooldowns actually hit the mark, but it doesn't matter. They're still looking pretty good. If only they could take down Faker. But they don't, the reinforcements come in, and T1 set up soul point. They just can't. Like fishes with the Q, won't get it. Championship, it's T1, one dragon from Soul. And Carry gets spotted. He says, Great, I'm gonna engage. Both your soul leaders are stacked up. Carry goes right in, knocks them both up. The Bard ulti comes through there. I think it was meant to protect the Shy and Xiaohu, but it kind of backfired as it immuned the ulti coming through from the Shy. And from Xiaohu, that was two ultimates that just yeah. didn't find their mark. The anti-synergy, really rough for Weibo here with their backs against the wall. They just don't find the angle, and that is Soul Point set up. A triple kill for Faker on Akali, a champion that, well, of course, we knew he could play, but we hadn't seen this year just yet. This year, you can make that argument. He has been tearing it up. He's been great in lane, has really been impressive in team fights, and it just feels like a rejuvenated Ooh. faker. And he goes again, as now Ona looking for that opportunity as well. Backflip connects also as the perfect execution comes forward. Has he overstepped the answer? It is no, because he had the stopwatch anyway, and now the cavalry comes in. Chris, the next to go down, Weiwei. He's under a turret. Oh. He has flashes on top. The lethal Aatrox going to get it done, and T1, they feel like it's Baron time. It's the king at home. Respect the name. Faker, the greatest of all time. Styling on him in Seoul. And Light desperately trying to get something going here. Not going to be the case. He's not going to be allowed to because Faker wants to keep his whole oh. house alive as well, but it's not going to work out. He goes into the Shroud. I don't know whether this is necessarily what you, the fight that you want to take, but Xiao is going to turn up. Faker is going to get out. The Baron secured here for T1. I want to get the next Baron, and they're going to win the series in Carrier. Going to get knocked up here as Ona comes on over. He's here to protect his support. The quickness ties them all up, and Xiaohu going to be the next target. He finds two with the Empress Divide, but Crisp just evaporates. Weiwei going to suffer the same fate as Zeus is on the warpath. Light able to sidestep, finds the Chains of Corruption, but there's not enough damage. Xiaohu decent flash to try and get himself out, but he's not out of the woods yet as Faker tidies up that kill and they are just so far ahead. Oda secures light with a sonic wave, and the Shy finds himself alone heading back towards his base. That's the double kill. That's the clean ace for T1. And T1, Weibo Tree. Like they're going to take this inhibitor and move back. It may not be the end of the series, but it might be the last moment that Weibo felt hope in it. As Crisp clearing out some control vision, Ona wants to grab himself a soul to finish this game off on. And T1 are just on fire. All five players in this final game here, potentially. 
playing out of their minds. They are five brains, one flesh. Get Zeus. Oh. Won't even get that. It's heartbreaking as now they take a magical journey over Zeus. He likes this one though. One versus three. He's absorbing so much. The Empress Divide. It comes in, but he's still alive. What? It's going on. Baker Tiny's up the first. Everyone's just exploding. As Weiwei trying to get something done, but it does not matter. T1 are too strong. Four times T1 has lost in a game five. Four times they've been knocked out. And four times. It was seven years since their last, a decade since their first. The SKT legacy has been reignited. T1 will be your 2023 world champions. These were some of the best highlights from the world's 2023 Grand Final. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.